Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go, and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Morning guys, today could be the day to paint the top half. Um, the forecast at the minute is rain this afternoon, but at like 40% chance. It's quite breezy, it's 13 degrees high today. What are we on? Uh, 16th February. 13 degrees, that is absolutely amazing. Um, and absolutely perfect for probably the other thing. So, and the wind will help, wind, sun, as long as this continues. There's still a bit of dew on the boat from last night, so you know, the water dripping down, running down. I need to wait for that, for the wind and the sun to, to deal with that. Uh, I'll give it a quick mop over, quick wipe up. <sighs> Mask up. Uh, I'm not 100% committed, I'm going to give it about an hour just for the sun and the wind to finish drying the boat off. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'll reassess various forecasts, look at the likelihood of it raining within the first sort of few hours. If it's all looking good, get the paint out, get slapping. Um, if I do, obviously I'll get uh, some, I'll probably get a sort of a time lapse footage of me painting it. Uh, we'll see how it goes, see what it looks like. Can't be that bad. Um, anyway, <coughs> so about an hour I've got to kill, so I'm gonna get changed. I'm still in my my unwork wear. Yesterday I painted the. Uh, you can see it down there. The grey strip for up up there. Oh, it was a dark red strip. Now a nice grey strip. Two coats on there. So I'm gonna reattach that in a minute. And I've also bought because of the 12 volt system. So the initial. I bought a few bits and pieces basically, so I'm gonna give you a quick heads up of my plan. If anyone thinks it's crazy or out there, then let me know. So, you haven't seen it yet, but the two leisure batteries are under there. There's a hell of a lot of room under there. I could probably fit about six of them under there, but eventually, in the future, lithium phosphate, I can make it, I can go big. I can have all my Victron solar charger control units and blah, 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 you know, it's all, it can all go in there. So, tons of room, power box if you like. What I'm gonna have is I've just bought a, from 12 volt planet, a little on off isolator switch. Now whether that goes inside or outside here, I'm probably thinking outside for, for the safety aspect, just to turn, or just to isolate it for the batteries from the fuse panel that's gonna go in there. And for the earth, for the, uh, the anode, this dirty great big lump, two kilo of anode, that is gonna sit oh, up down here, about there. Obviously not on top of that, not on top of that bilge pump, but in and around there, mounted on the hole below the water line, and then the earth strap, I'll run up the inside in this corner through into where the batteries are. So it's got its earth return down to the water table from the batteries and then a cable will run along for the earth bus bar which will be in there uh, the live cable will come through through a little pipe in there out here again to a bus bar and yeah and then it'll be all, all the bits and pieces off of there whether it be you know the instrumentation the the mast stuff the lighting, the 12 volt sockets, and all the other little bits and pieces around the boat. It'll all come into here, and I'll do it not as tidy as I can, little, little, little sorty out job. And then I bought a fuse panel. I'll try and put a link into I can to the description of the fuse panel in eBay. I'll try and do that, should be able to, just so you can see what I've bought. Um, it's not a, it's not a, a cheap, you know, you see the ones on Amazon, like 20 quid. And a lot of little hot look all right. So yeah. And then you go to like Force 4 or Chandler's and the, the panels are like 1500 pound. 
I've sort of got a, I don't know how much, about 400 quid. But I've got sort of one, I've gone in the middle, so it's a decent one, it's a nice looking one. 150 pound I paid for it, I think it was. So I'll put a link in the description down below and then we'll see how it is. And if you if you fancy it yourselves when you're doing your 12 volt system and you like the way that this one goes together, then it's it's there if you want it. Um, that was what I've been up to. Well, not been up to, been planning. That's about it really. So is the batteries, batteries, isolator, earth, fuse panel, and then from there, everything goes from it. Or oh, goes to it. But also today, maybe, because I've sorted out all the wires. I've got God knows how much cable, because I ripped out last night, I ripped out the rest of that fuse board. All the wiring's all out, all the old conduits, so I can sort that out back as a as a little shelf. And I'll get that wall sorted out, ready for, you know, make it nice, get it painted up. Same as this one, on the to-do list, all on the back burner. But what I wanted to get on with today, if I, if I get the paint done and it's not raining later, is running things like the radar, um, the navigation lights, the steaming light, anchor light, you know, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna come through here, run it along, I'm gonna probably gonna cut a section out of here, put another screw in, and then run the cables along up to where it exits for the roof into my little connection box. And then they'll come obviously through there and they can come down into the fuse board. What I'm probably gonna do on this bulkhead so I'm not doing loads of um screwing and damage and whatever is I'm gonna do what I've done here quickly for the 240. I'm gonna get some more ply and just stick an epoxy and just stick it on places where I can then do a bit of cable management and make it look pretty running into the uh, fuse panel. I'm a little bit restrictive until the fuse panel turns up to see what sort of size opening because where it sits currently, I think I'm gonna to have to come out another sort of right to the edge of this strip here just to utilize that area and get as much room as I can behind it to do stuff. But yeah, I've also got to consider as well, the diesel heat is going to go down there. So the outlet is going to come through. One will go straight through here and blow down the galley. And one, <coughs> one outlet will come up and blow through there. Warming up the, the saloon. And that'll do for now. I was going to run it, you know, down there, around, through the heads, through everywhere. I'm not too fussed about that. I, I may get another T that runs through and pumps it through the heads, but I'm not too worried about it at the minute. That's a, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. All right, I'll stop chatting rubbish and I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, I may see you painting in a bit. Hey guys, I've just been out sanding and prepping and drying in a t-shirt, it's beautiful out there. So I'm going to get a fresh battery in this, it's going to die any second. Um, and I'll be painting very soon, I'm going to mask up, get it all stirred up, and I'll get a time lapse of me uh, slapping it on. See you out there. Hey guys, it's blowing about 20 knots, and this is quite watery paint, so I'm being quite careful. This is the first uh, roll going on. Obviously it's not going to completely cover the grey on the first run, but I'll go around doing the first one and hopefully by the time I get all the way around, it'll be time for the second coat. I'll put you on a time lapse and uh, catch how it goes.
Hey guys, that's like the first mist coat if you like on. A bit patchy, but I'm not overly bothered because, like I say, it's a mist coat. I tried to take out any big lines that's going to start showing through on subsequent coats. And I thought being a really windy day, stuff like this wouldn't happen, but little buggers keep trying. So I'll do the other side now. Um, it's a bit of windy and there's some grey old clouds up there. So I'm a little bit dubious on the second coat, but I'm going to get on and paint the other side. I'm not going to film it, it's exactly the same when you just walk full time. You sit watching me paint, slapping paint on a hole. Um, so I'm going to do that, and if I get round to doing a second coat today, fingers crossed I will, and uh, I'll tune in for that. All right, I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, it's getting darker and darker here. So I'm on one, in two minds with to carry on. I've got the second coat on the transom, so it's got a nice white coverage, um, which makes me want to get a second coat on the sides to get that just solid white. I can do subsequent coats afterwards, but it's getting very grey. Uh, we're going to go for it. I'm going to get a second coat on. If it rains, it rains. It's oil based. Hey guys, that's, uh, that's round two done on this side. Again, the other side, I'm not going to film it. I just want to get it done. I don't trust the weather to do any more, so I want to get a second coat on the other side. I'll get a third coat on the on the stern, just so I can get my brackets and stuff on there. Um, so yeah, once I've gone down the other side, I'll come back round again, do another coat on here, just push it as much as I can. Um, just so I can get the rudders and everything on and then another nice day anytime really because now I've got enough I might do another coat up here it should be enough though I just wanted to get enough on I can get the rubbing strakes on and then if I need to mask out the rubbing strakes afterwards then I, then I will do but I think that's probably good enough for me to for me to fix them on and have that bit of white there but I may well go along afterwards when I do the stern the transoms and the last couple of coats come along just do another coat up top there just to allow me to crack on with that but I'm going to get on painting the other side before it starts raining once it's um, set a little bit and I'll get the blue tape off if it's not rained and run everywhere and made a horrendous mushy mess I'll tune in to show you how it looks hey guys it's been an hour or so really really windy now but um two coats on obviously it's still very patchy it's still far too thin it needs another couple of coats on but i wasn't going to work in these conditions it's, the temperature's really dropped off it probably hasn't but the wind you know the wind chill has made it feel a hell of a lot cooler um so what it give me a chance to do this isn't a good example here there's a few little bits where there's bristles and hairs and odds and sods that's in the uh, in the paintwork. So I'll give that a few days to go off. 
I can then go along, nice bit of wet and dry, flat out any bits like this that have settled on the on the paintwork. Little bits like that. You can see it or not. There's little bits of bristly stuff in there. Yeah, old bugs and stuff. But I can just flat that down on a nicer, calmer day. You know, do another couple of coats. And I'll just keep going until it's nice and thick. I can, any bugs can get sanded off. Um, yeah. But I mean, looks wise, without getting too involved and realizing it's seeing the streakiness of it, I'm quite impressed with that. For my, my cheap polyurethane paint. Quite impressive. So I'm gonna disappear now before I get blown away. I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea in the clubhouse. Um, and I'll be back out here very soon, getting on with stuff on the inside the boat. But I'll speak to you in a bit. Cheers, guys. Morning, guys. Another sunny, blowy, yet very warm February morning. Um, I've just quickly dusted down the uh, the epoxy prime on the on the rudders and put a first coat of polyurethane on. I can only do a side at a time. Because of the type of paint it is, I've got to leave it for a day or two before I can turn it over and do the other side. So I'm going to get two coats on, so I've just, just finished the first coat. I'll give it 20 minutes, half hour, just let it get tacky. Then I'll put a second coat on top, then I'll just leave it. Um, it's Thursday now, so unless it's dry tomorrow, highly unlikely, but it might be. I'll get the other coat done tomorrow if it's if it's turnable. I'm, so I'm not, I'm not going to rush it. Um, if, if not here, we after the weekend because I'm taking the kids to, to London for the weekend. So, first coat's on. I don't see much of me apart from... Apart from white shiny things, bless your idea. Nice white shiny things. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow my 12 volt stuff is going to turn up uh, the fuse panel so I can start working out how I'm going to do in there and my isolated breaker switch to put in there and I'll start securing the batteries, uh, getting the battery leads on. I'll install the, under there somewhere, the, the, the sacrificial anode and just get the, the 12 volt system up and running basically, or the, 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 the core part of it, ready for them to start spurving off with lights and sockets and other such fancy things. Um, what else I'd like to get done today? Probably won't though, because I'm doing stuff at my girlfriend's house. Um, I've got bits and bobs working on her car and working on the garden. Um, but I really want to get the wiring from here through up and into that little mask box. But that might be a, be another day. But maybe later, we'll see. It's rain due later. If it's not raining, I might come back this afternoon and get on with that rather than spending all day working there. Uh, but yeah. So that's it for now. I'm going to do another coat, like I say, in about 10 minutes time. And I'm pretty much going to disappear. So I shall speak to you, well, maybe later on, maybe tomorrow. But in your time, it'll be in a second. Speak to you a bit. Hey guys, just sat doing video editing now. And I'm a month behind and I've got a lot of footage to get through. So I'm going to start putting out videos a bit more often now to try and get that backlog um, done. So crane in's next week and boat's in a good place, but um, I've got a lot of videos to come before I get you there. So I'm going to edit as much as I can and uh, yeah, before you see you in the next, next day or day or two. Uh, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you haven't done so already and the link's down below for Patreon, buy me a coffee, all that good stuff. Big thank you to a Patreon Blue Dog Oz and I'll speak to you later.